dear students welcome to digital system design using varela class uh, in module 2 in today's class we will be going through different types of memories so in different types of memories first type of memory which we will be understanding here is ram that is random access memory uh, we can read and write the data into this memory that is what the ram is all about read and write both operations can be done on this memory there are different variants of ram like static ram dynamic ram are available let us understand what is asynchronous static ram is all about as the name itself suggests asynchronous means there will be no clock signal available data will be stored in one bit latch cells Uh, active low signal will be used for control inputs you can see that uh, chip enable write enable and output enable these three pins are active low and a is address and d is data so address is specified which address location in which we need to write the data and uh, which address location which we need to read the data so address is at the top chip enable when it is made low the chip has been selected right enable when it is low right operation is enabled output enable when it is made low data will be read from the memory so output enable is i that means we have not enabled that right enable is made low that means here it has got enabled chip is enabled address is available so that you can notice that at this point of time data will be stored into the memory so you can have a look at this stored data so there are uh, uh, timing delay that happens there is something called a setup time and hold time uh, when all the three signals address is available chip is enabled write is enabled and data is available data will be stored into the memory similarly at the read side uh, you can notice that chip has been uh, enabled address is available write enable is made high that that means it has got disabled that means it is ready to read output enable is made high you can have a look at this active low signal write output is enabled so data is read from the memory so this is called read operation so asynchronous sram that is asynchronous static ram doesn't contain a clock signal depending on the control signal write and read operations are controlled similarly there is something called as synchronous sram synchronous ram contains a clock signal so all the operations are in synchronous with the clock signals so clock to storage registers for registers are used address data control inputs are provided uh, each operation happens at the clock edge so it will be held for read as well as for write cycle so this is a clock signal you can notice that there is an address available over here we have made enable write operation is enabled data is available so there will be data storage happens so address is an uh, available clock is enabled write operation is disabled that means read operation data is read that's why d out you are getting the data right so this cycle is for write operation this is for read operations okay so everything happens with the positive edge of the clock signal right so that is about uh, ram in the next class we will be seeing uh, uh, different types of rom available